It's Bible time. <gasps> it's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's, it's Bible, Bible time. time. <gasps> it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's, it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. That's me. Get your Bible if you have one, because it's time to study the Bible together. The Bible is God's Word. God helped men write it, so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. If you are watching this video, you probably speak English or are learning English. If you didn't, you wouldn't understand what I'm saying. Some of you speak other languages too. I'm going to show you some phrases in other languages. See if you can tell me what language it is and what it says. What language is this? And what does it say? This is Chinese and it says, hello. What about this one? What language is this and what does it say? This is Spanish. It says, please and thank you. What about this one? This is Portuguese. It says, where is the restroom? What about this one? This is Russian. It says, can you please help me? Last one. This is French. It says, I need a doctor. How many of those did you know? There are thousands of different languages spoken in the world today. Thousands. Have you ever been in a situation when you were trying to communicate with someone who did not speak the same language as you? That can be really hard. Today, we're going to read about a time when language was really important. At this point in history, God had created the world and everything in it. Sin entered the world when Adam and Eve did not believe God and disobeyed him. Since then, everyone sinned. People sinned and sinned. God flooded the earth. God saved one family and all the land and sky creatures with a wooden ship called an ark. Today, we will read about something that happened after that, after the land was dry again. God told Noah and his family to grow their families and spread out all over the earth. Spoiler alert, the people sinned. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that goes against God and his commands. And today, we're going to see how sin is rebellion against God. A rebellion is when people resist and fight against those who have power over them. God is our creator and king. He has the power and authority to rule over us, but we rebel against him. We oppose him and fight against him. We do not want to do what he wants. We are all born in sin with hearts that don't want to obey. On our own, we will believe that God is not our king and that we can rule our own lives to choose what is best for ourselves without his help. Today, we will read about how people rebel against God. We are still reading in the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first book in the Old Testament and is a book of the law. Genesis records true things that really happened with real people. I'm going to read Genesis chapter 11, verses one through nine. The whole world had only one language and everyone spoke it. They moved to the east and found a broad valley in Babylon. There they made their home. They said to one another, come on, let's make bricks and bake them well. They used bricks instead of stones. They used tar to hold the bricks together. Then they said, come on, let's build a city for ourselves. Let's build a tower that reaches to the sky. We'll make a name for ourselves. Then we won't be scattered over the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. He said, all these people are united and speak the same language. That is why they can do all this. Now they will be able to do anything they plan. Come on, let us go down and mix up their language. Then they will not be able to understand one another. So the Lord scattered them from there over the whole earth and they stopped building the city. There, the Lord mixed up the language of the whole world. That's why the city was called Babel. From there, the Lord scattered them over the whole earth. To review what happened in our passage today, we're going to play Don't Tumble the Tower. To play, don't tumble the tower, I'm going to pull a brick from the tower and read what it says. Some of the bricks have questions about the passage we read. See if you can answer the question. I'll say the answer and then I'll stack it on top of the tower. Some bricks have words in other languages. 
I do not know how to read those because I only speak English and some Spanish. If I can't read it, I have to stack it sideways on top of the tower, which will mess up our tower and make it easier for it to fall. How high can we make the tower before it falls? Let's see. Find one that'll come out easily. Uh-oh, here's one. Oh no, it's one in a language I can't read. I gotta stick it on there sideways. Find another one. What book of the Bible did we read? Do you remember? We've been reading it for weeks. Genesis. Good job. All right, we find another one. What did God tell the people to do? Do you remember? God told the people to scatter all over the earth. All right. Oh, another easy one. Oh no, it's another one I can't read. Let's see. All right. Oh no, another one I can't read. I don't even know what that language is. Find another one. Which one should I get? Oh, there's an easy one. Okay. What did the people do? God told them to scatter, but what did they do? They decided to make a tower for themselves to make their name great. All right, next one. Oh, here's one. It's another one I can't read. All right. I don't see any easy ones left. It's gonna get harder, I guess. Oh, maybe this one. What does it mean to sin? Sin is anything we think, say, or do that disobeys God and his commands. All right. Okay, it's still going. Oh, here's one. Oh no, I can't read it. It's in another language. All right, we're doing okay. Find another one. Starting to wobble. It's really wobbling. All right, here's one. What does it mean to rebel against God? A rebellion is when people fight and resist those in power over them. God is our creator and God rules. He has the authority to rule over us, but we rebel, we fight against him. We don't want to obey. All right. Doing good. I think we're out of easy ones. All right, here's one. Why did the people stop building the tower? Well, the people stopped because God mixed up their languages. They couldn't communicate well anymore, so they couldn't build their tower. All right. It's getting really hard. Woo! Got this. Nope. Nope. Nope, here's one. Oh no! I can't read it. It's in another language. Oh. I put it this way. Okay, it's staying. Find another one. Oh no, our tower tumbled. Great job playing, don't tumble the tower with me. Those other language bricks really made it hard. Whenever we sin, whenever we go against God, it shows the problem deep in our hearts. We are born sinners. We believe that we know more than God. We think that God doesn't want what is best for us. We reject his authority. They did it. We do it. God was gracious and merciful. He mixed up their languages, which led them to obey what he had told them to do, to spread out and fill the earth. God is still gracious and merciful. Jesus took the punishment for our sins when he died on the cross. When we put our faith in Jesus, God saves us from our sins and makes us right with him. He makes us able to obey him. God is so very good. Now it's time for Eyes on Him, the part of our lesson when we focus on what the scriptures say about God. When you study the Bible, look for what the scripture reveals or shows about God. Then think about how that knowledge of God should impact, change, matter to your life. One thing I see is that God's plans will not be messed up. God wanted the people to spread out and fill the earth, 
but the people didn't want to. God changed their circumstances, so they obeyed him. Job 42, 2 records Job saying to God, I know that you can do anything. No one can keep you from doing what you plan to do. God is so powerful and gracious. His control over all things is so great. He can even use our sinful choices to accomplish his will. The people sinned. They rebelled against God. They did the wrong thing. But God used that to mix up their languages, which spread the people throughout the earth and accomplished what he wanted. It would have been better for them if they had just obeyed to begin with. But God can even turn our messes into a message about him. He's that great. God alone is worthy of being praised. The people wanted to be great, but they weren't great. They were simple people. The one who created them is great, but they weren't trying to tell others about his greatness. They wanted to be great themselves. We are created in the image of God. We are special. We are valuable, but we do not deserve for others to think we are great. Anything we accomplish, create, or have success with is because God enabled us to do it. We could not do it without him. They were so proud of themselves for making bricks and their plans for the tower. They didn't realize God made the materials they used to make the bricks. And God gave them the ability to make the bricks. And God gave them the physical strength to build the tower. God had given them so much, but they used it for themselves instead of for him. They wanted others to think they were great, but they only seemed to be great because of what God had done for them. God alone is worthy of our praise. What else does this passage show you about God? How should you live differently because of who God is? And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder! The time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on blue. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, why did God stop the people from making the tower? God commanded the people to scatter and fill the earth. Listen again to what the people said, recorded in verse four. Then they said, come on, let's build a city for ourselves. Let's build a tower that reaches to the sky. We'll make a name for ourselves. Then we won't be scattered over the whole earth. Their goal was to do the opposite of what God had told them to do. Plus, look at the words in their sentences. Let us, let us, we will, and then we will not. Their focus was on themselves instead of following God. They wanted their way, not God's way. And they wanted God's glory for themselves. They wanted to be great instead of telling others how great God is. It was merciful of God to stop them from their sinful plans. God has been merciful to me to stop me from my sinful plans too. Sometimes when I'm following my own sinful desires, God has changed the situation so it was hard for me to keep on in my sin. He's so merciful. He's so loving. He is so good. We are rebels. We oppose God. We go against him. We don't want to obey him. And yet he loves us. He made the way to save us by sending Jesus to die for our sins. By grace, through faith in Jesus, we can be saved. That is the only solution for our rebel hearts. We can't try more. We can't do better. We need Jesus. Praise the Lord, Jesus came. Let's pray. Holy Father, you are so merciful and loving. You know we are sinners. You know we want to rebel against you, to disobey you. And yet, you still love us so much. Please forgive us for doing things for ourselves instead of you. Please help us to obey you and your commands so we can honor you and bring you glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Well, sweet friends, I love studying God's word with you today. There's no better time than Bible time. And I hope you'll join me next time for Bible time with Aunt JJ. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and go to 
BibleTimeWithAuntJJ.com for free activities that go along with today's Bible study. It's Bible Time with Aunt JJ.